I was born in, in, in a place called Stanley Town in the Rhondda Valley. And uh, to be quite honest with you, the reason I want you to have a drink with me is my birthday tomorrow. Oh, really? <laughs> and which, what birthday is it, Tom? 89th. Brilliant. Yes, yeah, so absolutely wonderful. brilliant. Basically what we want to do, Tom, yeah. it, 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 we're trying to do a history on farming, mainly yeah. dairy in actually, yeah, that's but, right. that, but that's neither here nor there. What, what I think is where you can help us back, out best is identifying the farms in Bampton from when you were working the yeah, farms yeah, yeah. and yeah. working round till we end up, we, we basically we want to know who farmed where, basically what they did. Yeah. And you know any little stories you can tell yeah. along the way. Yeah, if we start out at the bottom end of wheel. When I my earliest um, recollection of of Ernie Parker. Yeah. Right. Was that he owned? You got uh, well right down by you the got well sharp corner bend. there. That's yeah. it. Yeah. And it goes the sharp bend there. That's right. And and he had. That's he had where a black, he milked. He had a, that's black where he shed. milked, but he only had one cow. Ern Park here, see, he didn't have the cow, not straight away, because I went to work for him in 1936. Right. And he had the cow just before, well, that's when the air, air base started to work up there, you know. Uh, right. That they were working up there, and Ern, he worked on the, on the base up there, and I run his farm for him down there, although he was only young at the time. I looked after his chicken, see, but he come up in the morning, milked the cow, and went off to work, and then he milked the cow at night, you see, when he finished. When I looked after the chickens all day, packed, you know, fed the chickens, collected the eggs, packed them, and all that sort of thing. And so that's, he had the one cow, and that was a dairy shop. So you worked for him? Yeah. So was that your well, first job? That was my first job. I stuck with him for four years. So how old were you when you started there, then? I was 14 when I left school. <laughs> right. Yeah. So, so you worked for because he had sons and he had Clive, Alan. I I went to school with Alan. Yeah. Uh, which was the youngest son, uh, yeah. and can you and you're talking what nineteen thirty six. Nineteen thirty six. Yeah. Thirty six. Yeah. So, he Clive, had, Clive was his oldest son. Yeah. And then he had June and Betty, didn't he? June and Betty. Yeah. And yeah. Then, where did they work? Oh, I, they they weren't working then. So oh, they were only young. Know? Clive Clive yeah. was only young. So he wasn't working either. Right, of no, course, yeah. No, no, they weren't. They, I mean, they probably started work while I was in the army, you say, away from Bampton. Yeah. So I didn't know so all about My, my first there. recollection of him milking there, because this is 1943 when, when we yeah, came. Yeah, well, I was, was in Africa then. Arthur Garin <laughs> used, to do, used to do contract work with his tractors, that's doing the right. plowing and that. That's right. And yeah. he ran over Clive Parker's bicycle wheels. <laughs> yeah. With his tractor. And her run over mine anyway. Oh, did he? <laughs> <laughs> and I think one of you ran over Jefferson's house. So. <laughs> <Quite possibly. laughs> Very coincidental, wasn't it? Yeah. Right. So, so then we, we come round the corner there then, and that then is um, what's known as Glebe Farm. That's right. And, and that, that was, I thought it was something by the name, like Parsons, but you said no, it yeah, was Hyatt. Yeah. Hyatt, that uh, Mr. Hyatt and son run that farm, and they milked, didn't they? Cause I remember watching they had dairy short horns, yes, quite a few, because uh, that was old man Humphreys and his two sons looked after that. That was Jess and Ernie Humphreys, and the youngest son was um, Fred, Fred Humphreys. Yeah, and uh, they they Hyatt had moved away from there, see, and they lived in the farmhouse. And I'll tell you where Hoyt went to. You know when you go up Buckland Hill, you turn left at the top to go to um, Oxford? Yeah. Well, in, as you come into the trees, there's a red red brick uh, farmhouse lays back on the left-hand yeah. side. Well, that's where Hoyt went to. Well, and he, he, do, do you mean before before the, where there's now a garage? Uh, or, past the garage. Right. Past the garage, then you come to the trees, don't you? Both yeah. Uh, and his uh, Hoyt's farm was on the left hand side there. Oh, in there? Was, in there. So. Yeah, because Robert's the, the um, mach milking machine bloke from um, Buckland, mm. he had a store in, in that farm. Yeah, yeah. well that's where, it, that's where it was anyway. That's where Hoyt went to. And the Humphreys lived in the farmhouse down Wheels. So. And that is Mrs Humphreys that was, had a lot to do with Bampton life. Uh, that was uh, Iris. Humphreys? Yeah, Iris Humphreys. Iris Humphreys, yeah. Yeah, it's her. Well, she was a Rogers. 
That's it, in the paper shop on the, yeah. on the bridge. Yeah. So she was married to Jesse. Yeah, that's right. That's right, and Ernie was the other one, and Ernie went to... He, well, Ernie, Ernie used to work for Harry Pocock that's on right. the threshing machine. Yeah, that's right, yeah. Yeah, that's correct, yeah. Well, after Hyatt's Farm, you yeah. come to but then, Bugs then, Farm. That's it, which is which uh, was where we come to live. That's where you come to live, in the farmyard there, didn't yeah. it? That's where you Yeah, there's there, yeah. there, there, there two cottages down the back, and it was... Aunt Hayes was in one side of it. That's right. And we was in the other. Yeah. And then George Collins Well, a bloke that named Earl moved out from where you went in, didn't he? I don't know. Yeah, and he was his, his uh, people had a furniture uh, factory up in High Wycombe. Oh, really? Yeah. And Earl, the one that moved out from where you went, he used to be a lay preacher. Well, he moved. Yeah. yeah. What? For Methodists? For the Methodists, Methodist. yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, I'm jiggered. Yeah. And, of course, you moved in there 43 times, wasn't That's it? That's it, yeah. 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 And of course, I wasn't in Bampton then. I was, no. in, I was away in Africa then. Tom, can we go back to um, with the Weald Farm? Yeah, Weald right? Farm. We, when when, when Butt but was there in, yeah. in, in the time of time. What did he milk? Cause I, that was Dairy Shorthorns. That was Dairy Shorthorns. That was Dairy Shorthorns. Nearly all Dairy Shorthorns right yeah. here. Yeah, because yeah. I think I think when Mr. Collins came, he bought the herd. Yeah, oh, I see. He yeah. went straight in, yeah. straight in the herd. Yeah. Yeah. The only the only people that was there working then that kind of carried on from Mr. Burt was R. A.'s. Yeah, and, Fred Beachy and Fred Beachy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and it, it, yeah. he was the carter. Yeah, and that's he, right. He, he looked after all the horses. Yeah, he lived well, in then, the when George Collins came. He introduced Fred to tractors. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So they're going through. The, Fred was taught how to drive the tractor because he remember the old baby forces only had yeah. one pedal, which was clutch and brake that's, at the same time. Right. Yeah. And he's going through the yard and he's sat on the tractor driving and he wanted to stop. And he shouted, Whoa! That's correct. <laughs> I know and about he, it. <laughs> and he went into all these treacle bars. Whoa, you bugger, stop! <laughs> <laughs> Correct, that is, yeah, yeah, poor old Fred. <laughs> yeah, yeah, lovely. Yeah. And, so, the, and the Cowman Sea then was Hearn, so he must That's what lived in our house then, yeah. the, yeah, the, 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 the end York. cottage that we went into. Yeah, that's right. There no, no electric, no water, see? No, no, nothing. You had uh, paraffin lamps. That's those, it, say. that's yeah. it, and, and I had to pump yeah. the water up into a, 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 uh, a tank right. at the back there. Yeah. Um, yeah. So next, next to us was Ashes. Now, who that, was, who was that there one in That was Regent's before Ashes. Of course it was. That was something Janet and I wanted to go into. Yeah, Did Regent's milk, and what did they milk? Regent's never milked at all. No. He had it as a dairy for bottling. Uh, no. They no. sold milk. He had a milk round. Ah, uh, not... That was the son that had the milk round. Ah, right. And he lived down, down Aston Road. Yeah. But he died very young, you know. He used to come round with the horse and cart, you see, and the churn in the back, and sell the milk. Yeah. What, Richard? The, it, Mr. Richards' son, that was. Right. Now, would, would that, that Mr. Richards' son, or you said he died? He died very young, about 53. He lived in one of those uh, big council houses down Aston Road. Right. Now, he had two daughters, Delia yeah, well, and I didn't know those very Rose. Well. And he had a son, didn't he? John. Yeah. And John was a builder. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he lived down the Aston Road in those. One of those in the council. Well, there. the council. Yeah. You're yeah. so right. I forgot yeah. that. Yeah. Ah, right. Where did he get his milk from to deliver? I know that's something I couldn't know. I couldn't tell. I couldn't tell you that. I don't know. But he sold from a churn, he, not bottles. But he showed, sold from a, a horse and cart. You see, with mm. a churn in the back. Right. Yeah. He used to come round and ladle it out. You know. Mm. <laughs> Yeah. Interesting. Because but the Richins, that was two brothers lived down there. Right. And in actual fact, Mrs. Ern Parker, that was one of the daughters. Really? Yeah. Ern Parker, Parker married, married her, into the Richins family. Into the Richins family, yeah. And they, they were chicken people, the same as what Ern was when he started. Well, I they never. had in, in where those um, people are now, you know, the caravans like Dead yeah. Wheeled, that was all big chicken houses in there. 
really big chicken houses, they kept uh, well, hundreds of chickens, well, so did Buck as well. Yeah, yeah. Well, Buck had uh, chickens as well as uh, cows. That's too. right. Dad, yeah. When Dad and Mr Collins got there, um, that that big shed was still used for chicken. Yeah. For yeah, Mr. Collins yeah. and and yeah. that organised. Well, he had chickens both sides the road, but did he? Did he? Yeah, yeah, both sides. Yeah, yeah. Tom, going up Away Lane, there yeah. used to be some buildings up Away Lane on the left hand on the side. Left. Yeah, what was, was that? That was just a or, ordinary shed, actually. And, right. And he did have a few sheep as well. But did. But did. Yeah. Right. Just a few, not a lot, not a big. Flock, you know. Yeah. But he had a few sheep. Yeah, good. You know, but yeah. Dad used to do. He was a farm manager for another farmer in in Somerset, on the Mendips there, right mm. right next to George Collins. Because mm. Dad used to do used to do for George what you did for us, help out at oh, nights. Yeah, and, and then see. George yeah. encouraged Dad to come yeah. on up here. Yeah. Um. And he had sheep, and they were forever getting out. And Dad said, if ever I have a farm, I'll never have a sheep on there. And he never did. <laughs> No, never no, had a sheep on no. it. So when we come to with Mr. Collins to uh, Wheel Farm, there was no sheep. So obviously, no. but had them. Yeah, um, he only had a few there. See, Don Slugs, but he got they got yeah. rid of them. See. So so next yeah. was was Richens then, then, you, then which was, was, which was Ash, Ash and Walker. They took over after Richens. That's it, the and they farm. had Lincoln Reds. Oh Shield yeah, Lincoln yeah. Red. yeah. Right, so we go on down then. Now, the your cottage where. You yeah, lived. that's where I lived. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I forgot. Fred Beachy worked there. Yeah. Right. Where in that cottage, people by the name of Go to Bed. Ah, oh, that was after Pop moved out. Right. Yeah. It was a Bill Go to Bed, Bert Go to Bed, yeah. and their wife and a daughter. Yeah. And when Dad, Mr. Collins went off one day and left Dad a list of what everybody had to do, and when it said, Bill Go to Bed. <laughs> <laughs> right. So ne next was Pinnocks. Yeah, Major Corses, that's it. Uh, Major Coville, or yeah. Colonel Coville, is it? Colonel Coville, well, that was his farm, actually, you see. Yes. Pinnock was the one that looked after managed the cows it. and managed oh, them. And was, was they the managers when you were at, yes. in, in yeah. the 30s? Yeah, yeah. And yeah. They, they, they had a son and a daughter, see. And they were Jersey cows, right? Yeah, they? Jerseys, yeah. And he also kept pigs. Did he really? Oh, yeah. Yeah, there was pigs there as well. Yeah. I don't know. Okay, yeah. next was. What I knew is Oliver's. Yeah, that was Oliver's farm. It's where your farm is, actually, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, that where, where, our, our, where our Colin is now. Yeah. That that was Oliver's. Yeah. And that was that was a mixed herd because we bought a Jersey cow off it, a Guernsey cow off it. Yeah, and but the biggest out. part of them was the Airy Short ones. Were they oh, same yeah. again? Yeah. Because uh, Red Smith used to be the... That's uh, it. Cyril Smith's dad. Yeah, Cyril Smith's dad. That was it. He was... Uh, he was a milker for those there. Right. So so then we come on down down towards so you've got corner farm uh, there, which is where the Parkers lived. Ah, uh, just a minute, you going past a, a bloke named Alec Townsend. Alec Townsend. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Yeah. Well done, yes. Tom. Yeah, I forgot Alec. And yeah. Yeah, Alec Townsend he just had two shire horses. Right. And uh, one of his fields was uh, going round Welton, round the big bend. Yeah. To where the clump of trees was. Yeah. And that long long narrow field there before you come to forty acres. Yeah. That was that was Alec Alec Townsend's yeah. field that he, he he worked on. He didn't he didn't farm, he just had the two horses and done and looked after himself that way. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Yeah. He, he, he used in, to grow corn and, and that Well he, he did he did sell his horses and he changed to a baby horse and tractor because when he sold up we bought that tractor. Yeah. Was it a, yeah. a, a baby blue Fordson? Yeah. Were those yeah. horses Shire horses, working horses? Yeah, yeah, the big, the big horses. And then did he, was he contracted out and doing work for other he people? Do, he'd do work for anybody, so yeah, right. yeah, definitely, right. yeah. Yeah. Right. And then as you come up to him, then you had a, a, a wheel right there then. Where? Um, in where um, Keats used to be. Well, that corner farm, that's where Parker lived when I come here. Ah, yeah, well, he moved down there after I'd gone in the army, see. Right. But that so was, where did, where did, where did that Parker was White's, live then? That was White's, the, the wheelwright. He used to do the, the harvest carts, wheels and that, make them really? all that. Yeah. Well, which house is that then? That's corner farm. Corner farm. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Well, I'm and that was a wheelwright there. The White's the wheelwright. Yeah. 
I remember that it, it was the first time I'd come across, you know, Bucket Lavies, Bampton are yeah. renowned for his Bucket Lavies. You get two yeah. seaters yeah. and all yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. And that was the first one I'd come to that there was no bucket, right? Mm. You sat over the hole. Yeah. And then they it was a hole with a shovel hole at the bottom at the back. <laughs> so when it got so full, they'd go around the back and shovel it, put it in a wheelbarrow and put it on the garden. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But he used to fight the life out of yeah. well, like, you. Know, yeah. I was only a little boy and there's a hole this big and my yeah. bum wasn't that big in that day. You're bloody four days in there. Yeah, then after the wheel, right, you come to the corner, you yeah. see. Now, Major well, Webb lived there in my day. Yeah, well, well before Major much. Webb was uh, Harry Pocock's mother and father. Uh, yeah. So uh, Harry was a Bampton born person then? Well, I, oh, I couldn't tell you when, where uh, Harry was born, but that's where his parents lived anyway. And is there. that College Farmhouse? Um, right on the corner? Right on the corner, yeah. Right. But that was where Harry Pocock's mother and father lived before they went away to Wantage area. Yeah. And that's, yeah. that's where Pocock's Close gets its name from. From that, Mr. From, Pocock. From that Harry, that yeah. Harry Pocock. Yeah. Because he was going uh, like a Bampton council. After they moved out, you see, that was to. Um, Webb Colonel Webb in the and, home garden and, uh, man. <laughs> his uh, his daughter used to breed uh, chill water cocker spaniels. Oh, that's right, because there used to be a sign over there saying yeah, chill. Well, right. I never. I'm, I've forgotten all about that. Tom. Yeah, yeah, chill water cocker spaniels was there, taken over there, and then the the farm then of, of uh, Hamcourt you come to. Yeah, that was uh, Mr. Diamond and Sons. So they moved from there to um, Shrivenham. That was around about 1934, 1935, and that was when uh, Vaughan Robinson moved in. Mm. And That's that was it. one of the first uh, combined harvesters that was ever That's right. brought Massey, in around Massey, there. Massey yeah. Harris, uh... yeah, yeah. And uh, in in those days, you say, old Perky Rabburn, as you knew, yeah. his yeah. father we used to work for Diamond, say, on that corner. Well, I well Perky know. used to work for him as well. Yeah. Well, it comes out of it because Perky, Perky also works for his son of Townsend. Right. But we, we come out yeah. of now. <laughs> yeah. Stop getting excited. Yeah. Well, then you got son of Townsend. Uh, hang, hang on a minute, hang on a minute, because yeah. uh, that was an interesting thing. I would forgot that he was Vaughan of Robinson, and he, then he changed his name to Barlow Vaughan. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, right. So, yeah. what did they milk? They milk there then, Tom. Yeah, they, they? that was the Rishorans that was um, it? that um, Diamonds, Diamonds had. had. See, yeah, but I don't think um, I don't remember Vaughan Robinson ever having any cows. Yeah, he, yeah, he was he, he was a big farmer in. in well, cows. he he probably had the cows after I yeah. I'd gone into the army then. Yeah, yeah. no, because it, it was yeah. a big Frisian herd. He was, oh. in fact, he he packed up after me. Two thousand. Yeah. yeah, and I was 1997. That's oh, well, that's right. He did have cows then. Of course he did. Yeah. That, but that was the son that had the cows, not the old man, wasn't it? Yes. Yeah. Yes. But I think the old man had cows as well. Before. Oh, did he? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, they, yeah. Old, they always milked their cows. Well, his yeah, last dairyman was used to work them. Uh, uh, after he, uh, he worked for the son, though, didn't he? Didn't he? I'm, no. I'm not sure. No, that'd be the old no. man. Because it was yeah. the time when you used to milk for us. Yeah. Yeah. So, because um, Mike was yeah. um, Mike was a bit younger than me. Yeah. So he, it's no oh, that could have been the father then, because he said that was Vaughan yeah. Robinson. Your in your, your dad see. taught me how to behave with girls, <laughs> look, and I was only fourteen at the time. So yeah, yeah. You're very gentlemanly then. <laughs> <laughs> of course, of course. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. So that's that's Diamond and Sons is by the Vaughan's. Yeah. Right. So now we go back down then, and you get. Oh, Mr. Townsend. That's right, yeah. Well, he kept a lot of pigs, didn't he? That's right. Yeah. And he had a coal business as well. He had the first lorry in Bampton. Yeah, that's right. About 1918 or something yeah. like that, wasn't it? Well, they used to clean that lorry out and put seats around that, and that's what the Wesleyan youngsters used to go... I've seen a picture of it. <laughs> I've, seen, I've seen a picture somewhere of Townsend's coal lorry <laughs> yeah, that's, taking yeah. you lot out for a Sunday Yeah, we used to go down to Sabernack Forest. Down at Marlborough. That's um, Castleview Farm you're That's talking right. about now. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 With, with, with Dora there. Albert was the old man's yeah. name, wasn't it? And he had sons, yeah. Sonner and Jack. Yeah. Yeah. And he had two um, daughters, because one daughter, Dora, and one daughter married Mr. Hudson. Bill Hudson. Yeah. Bill yeah. Hudson yeah. She Frank died, Hudson. In, died in Childbirth. That's it, when Frank was yeah, born. Yeah, when Frank was born. Yeah. 
Yeah. So. Mm. Yeah. So, did he milk? No. no they they had did. fields right down. They right had down, Burton Burton Road. down the Aston Road too. Did they? Yeah. Not the Aston Road, um, Clanfield Road. But the right. Road, just the big fields before you got to the bungalows. I know. Yeah, yeah. There. Yeah. He left a lot of pigs, you see, and he also had the the coal business. So and right. and that railway carriage that used to be there is that where he kept the food for the animals? Oh yes, yeah, yeah, that's right. right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Very always. And he had very, a big barn clean. there as well, see, didn't he? I don't remember. Oh, oh yeah, there was a big barn there as well. Yeah, right. very clean. Yeah. Is it? You could yeah. you could have ate your supper off the floor. And uh, he, this. he moved. He was uh, in the Elephant and Castle. You see, in those days. He used to be the landlord at the Elephant and Castle. And you know the side doors that you go into where the houses are now? There used to be some doors there. And he used to have an old boy named Ponder that that used to come there and kill the pigs. And, of course, we, we were young lads, and we used to look through the through the cracks in the gate to watch them killing the pigs and that. And they used to kill the pigs, and they'd put the straw over them and burn them off, you know. <laughs> and nowadays, you know, oh, the kids who can't keep the kids away. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's, it was a bit gruesome in those days, see? Yeah, but because they used to know life. in those days. Oh, yeah. yeah. And to this Charlie Ponder, I'll tell you where he lived. As you go down Shaney Lane from Boy the Butchers, yeah. you go across a bridge, don't you, over the river yeah. shield there. Well, instead of turning right as you have to, he used to be go straight in, in his gate there, and that was where he lived, in the house in there. Mm. Yeah. See, Going, going back to to Weald on that corner there, you got you got Oliver's farm there, Albert uh, Alec Townsend, Alec Townsend, right? Yeah. And there was a cottage there, and on and Mr. Jackson used to cut hair. That's right. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I, I remember. Yeah, but before he moved into that one, he used to he lived in the first one, going round towards your. St Mary's Court in a, oh, in a cottage there. That's because there was cottages there, there wasn't there? Yeah. And then they all tumbled oh, down, didn't they? Oh, God. oh, what was the name of that place now? Oh, it's gone at the moment. It's the only time I played true, and I hid in the, the remnants of those cottages. Yeah, do you know what? I got the name of that. I'm not counting the names I of those cottages there. Yeah, it covered them and, uh, There used to be oh, quite a few. There was um, Jackson lived in the first one, Lottie Brooks, Bill Brooks. Yeah. Uh, now which which Bill Brooks was that? Was that the one? That the one that moved just up here. They moved up here. In the first house across here. Ah, right. Yeah, Freddie Brooks is done. That's yes. Right, uh, yeah. Tanners. That was it. There was. What well, lived up in those cottages on the left? There was Jacksons, Brooks, Tanners, uh, Rouses. Uh, not no relation to you. No, Freddie Rouse. Uh, Freddie Rouse and his mother and father oh, lived yeah. down there. Then there was Faircloth, uh, and then Fairclough, there were Dallas. Yeah. Well, because she's next door to you here somewhere, isn't she? Yeah, next door. Faye, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Where's Faye Smith? Yeah. 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 Well, I never... And then you've got a little, little cottage past them with... Uh, the, where the, Francis the, lived. Where the... No, no, before Francis, there used to be a little cottage on that corner. Oh, uh, yeah. With the, yeah. Uh, <laughs> a rather a quite old man lived in there named Tanner. And the chickens used to walk in and out of the house and all sorts. They were only a little, little one up, one down kind of thing, yeah. you know. He lived in there. Then Francis lived in the next so, one down. But next door to your dad in that blue load of cottages there, there was Tanner's the Thatchers. Was that related to the one you're talking about or not? Yeah, well, the, he was relation to the Tanner's, yeah. But the two brothers <laughs> lived together, you see. Yeah. The Fred and Ben. Fred it? and Ben, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we, we used to do a song about him. Yeah. I'd be farting, they'd be trapped, yeah, and we'd be Mary Thatcher, well, that thatching all the that's day. That's what they called one of them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, we, we had. And then, uh, you know where the Buckinghams lived? Yeah. There was a very eccentric old man lived in there. I can't think, never, I can't think of his name offhand, but they used to call him Shave the Pudding. And the reason they called him Shave the Pudding, he was doing one of these puddings that you do in a cloth, you know. Right, yeah. And he'd done the, used the wrong stuff. And, of course, when he got the pudding out, it was all ears on it, and he was shaving them off with a cut razor and somebody <laughs> was in it. <laughs> and they called him Shave the Pudding. But he had a nasty death, because, you know, the little, little, um, as you go round to the cottages, you know, from, there used to be a 
a little footpath going round there. Yeah, didn't that's it? right. And there was a ditch on the as you went round the left yeah. hand side. He come back from the pub. You see, rather worse for it, and he fell in that ditch and wedged himself in there, well, and he drowned down in that ditch. Yeah. Dear, oh dear. Yeah. This match, yeah. Mrs. Tom. So we, we, we're done. You got so next is Stan Reid. Stan Reid. That's so right. who was in yeah. there first then? That Nibs is. Who? Nibs. Nibs. Yeah. And they they done cows as well. Because they used to let the cows walk in through that um, brook, you know. To oh, go, of course. Yeah, 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 yeah. Where the Ford is. Yeah, where the Ford is. And then up, up through, yeah, yeah. and, and Reid, Reed, who took over from Nibs, is they did the same. No, no, there was another one that took over before Nibs is. I can never think of his name. Which farm is this? The Naps Farm. Right. Naps. Because it, Naps farm. you sent me a map of a sale of 1941. And it, that was obviously when Reeds bought Knapp's farm. Another man after Nibs is before before Reeds took over. But I can't think of his name because he wasn't mm -hmm. there all that long. And uh, Nibs's was there, see? And uh, they lost their carter one morning because he'd gone to work apparently but never turned up his work. And you know the opposite the, the Elephant Castles was there's a row of cottages down there, isn't there? Yeah. Well, he lived down there, a bloke named Faulkner. And uh, at the top end, as you go into the opening with the house, there used to be a well. And I'm afraid that's where they found him, down the well. What happens? Yeah, he got drowned. That was the carter for Nibs, you see. Yeah. That, that's yeah, the, those there. cottages on the side where, where Whitlock used to live. Um, the, the, right next to the footpath that goes up to Sanford. No, Field. no, no, the other side of the road, Don. Oh, that way. Oh, that lot yeah. to go in down Where our road. neighbour used, used to, to live. live. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah. used to live. That's down right, there. that's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and that's going yeah. down alongside of um, um, Alec, um, Alec Albert Townsend's farm. Mm. The but yeah. that goes down that way. Of course, he went out to work, see, early in the morning because he was car, you see. And uh, accidentally, I suppose he kicked on, went down the well. And that's where they found him. Yeah. Dear, oh dear. Yeah. Okay, so we, we've done Naps Farm. Now, going up there was where Busby's used to farm and where Arthur Gerin farms. Well, there. well the Busby's, they used to have cows. They were dairy shores and they used to walk them up and down the Buckland Road. The Buckland Road. They used to feed up and down the Buckland Road. I know. Yeah. When he crafted him, when you think about it, Tom, and he was doing the council the world ago. Yeah, yeah. Because That's the council right. didn't have to cut the grass. And it, I don't know who was oldest, the cows or him. But <laughs> the cow, cows all had twirly horns and yeah, their the feet yeah. twirled the same yeah, way. Nice. Don't know why, because he walked them miles. And he'd bring them up, up New Road, yeah. down Bushy Row, out by the by the Morris Clown, and then all the way down Buckland Road. And he'd let the cows eat the grass on the side of the road. And by rights, you had four fields down yeah. the lane. Down That's right, down, down there. Yeah. How so far down four... the lane were those fields? Sorry? How far down Buckland oh, Road? Oh, quite a way. Quite, yeah. The first three fields was owned by the Townsends, um, Albert Townsend, the son That's of Townsend. Right. They yeah. owned where that bungalow is now, isn't it? Is it mm -hmm. uh, and then there's a lane just down the side of that. Yeah. And right down past that lot on the right hand side was the Busby Fields because we, we bought yeah. them from them. So right at the we, end we of the street. We actually bought their farm mm. and sold the farm yeah. to Charlie Buck, yeah. I think. Yeah. And yeah. and uh, we kept the fields going because that's all Dad wanted was the field. But by the time the cows had got down there, they wanted to have a lie down because they were tired. Mm -hmm. So they never ate his grass. They ate the council's grass. On the, then he'd bring them out, milk them, yeah, and if I remember rightly, yeah. Tom, he had a, 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 a truck on wheels, and he used yeah. to ladle the milk out of that, didn't he, to sell in Bolton? I think they, they, did, they did sell milk as well, yeah, at one time, yeah. yeah. And they were related to Busby's, the... the oh, Sid Busby, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, they yeah. were related to Busby's, as had all the shops yeah. there, you know, yeah, yeah. When yeah. you say the shops, that's... Strawberry Cottage, Leicester House, and that's where it. Fiona has a physiotherapy now. Yeah. Right. Well, Kings took them over for a while, didn't they? Yes. Yeah. 
Yes, they have a strawberry Hunt, cottage. Mrs. Hunt used to work That's in there, That's right, Mrs. Ham, yeah. And mi- and I, I, a lot of people didn't like Mrs. Ham, you know. <laughs> they used to think she was a bit toffy nose. <laughs> it, it was it was crazy, really, but that's how it used to be. Hey, do you remember Miss De- Miss Stevens, yes, who, who yes. was the Sunday school teacher? Yes, She yes. Only, only about this tall, yeah, and she used to work in there, didn't yeah, she? Yeah, I can remember them all, yeah. Yeah, and then there was William's sister, who just lived on the corner. Oh, that's right. right. Oh, they had they had yeah. a rover car, a rover car. That's it. Yeah, it yeah. Immaculate for and years. One of them used to be the, the, the well, she had done work for a Naps Foundry at. Um, oh uh, really? Uh, yeah, yeah. She was in the office there for Naps Foundry at uh, Clanfield. Yeah. You want to yeah. enjoy something about this though? Don't worry at all. Yeah, she she'll probably go and see mother-in-law now. I anyway. will. <laughs> yeah. Happy birthday for tomorrow. Yeah, okay, thank you. <laughs> Sorry about this, Dory. No, no, no problem at all. Yeah. Nice, you enjoy. Nice yeah. to see you, yeah. love. Yeah. That'll see. be um, interesting. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah some yeah. of it be ex-certificate, you realise that, not for children. Surely not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway, we'll yeah. see you soon. Before you disappear, can we... Anyway, oh, no. You, no, 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 we, no, no, we no, left nibbles, as you see. Yeah. You, you had... Um, on the right hand side by Money's shop, you had the builder there, didn't you? Green's the builder. And opposite was another a bit of a farmer named Wilkins. Now that name has cropped up in your books quite a bit. And then in, you've been doing some study, and the name Wilkins has cropped up. You know where um, Billy Matthews lives now? Go past the post office as was well, coming up this way. There's there's two big houses stands there. Sherborne House. Yeah. Mm. Well, Bill, Bill Matthews lives in the second Sorry, one. Well, Wilkins lived in the next one. Fernley. Oh, that's no, right. In I there. remember them yeah. living there. Wilkins lived in there. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. And they were they were they were farmers. They were farmers. Yeah. Well, they had they had uh, a farm. Then where you? Down the golf lane. Really? Yeah, he, he were. He, that was where their land was. Yes, yeah, some of their land down the, down the golf lane. And where was his farm buildings then, Tom? Well, uh, yeah, I don't think he had any farm buildings at all because he used to live in that house, you see, as I said, where, right. next to yeah. where Bill Matthews lives now. Yeah. I, I remember the first house, um, old Bob Brickle lived in there. He for did, a long time, he did, didn't he? he did live in there for quite a while, yeah. Yeah, Bob Brickle did yeah. in there. When so, you say the first house, the other, the other one at Sherborne Villas, you mean? Mavis Newin's house. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I couldn't tell you who lived in there now. <laughs> yes, Mavis. Well, mm. yeah, Bob so, Brickle did live in there. And also, um, oh, what was, there was another person who lived in there. In my day, see, the Nesbitts lived in there. Really? What, the people who owned it? No, 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 there was... They just lived there for a little while, the Nesbitts. They didn't live there all that long. Because yeah. Nesbitts were a posh family, weren't they? Some well, sort? they were a bit that, that way. <laughs> yeah. And he had a son who went to school, see, that's how I remember him there. Yeah. Because somewhere I've seen a plaque to the Nesbitts. I mean, the Nesbitts owned something or other. Yeah. They were quite big property owners in that. That's, that's where they lived for a while, anyway, in there. Sherborne now? Yeah. Right, going, going up to up this. Up past the school then, and, and we've we've done bus biz, and then you get Arthur Arthur Gowen's place. Yeah, so Arthur always farmed in there, did he? Yes, the Arthur's been there for years. Right. Yeah, yeah, been there for years. Yeah, and then you come round the corner, and then as you come up there, you come into um, uh, Church, Church yeah. Street. Church Street. Church oh. Street. Yeah, and that was um, oh, what's the name of the people now? Well, who is it at um, Officers Buildings now? Um, Henley. Henley's. Well, there's Henley's farm then just round the corner. Yeah, you the, come that's right, right. Yeah, Deanery in, Farm. Deanery Farm in there. Yeah. Yeah. I forgot that. That's right. Now, he never milked. No. I don't Was it in, him, milking in your I days? I don't ever, him, ever remember him milking in there at all. And no. who... Was but, it always Henley? Or? No, well, the farm that Officers Building belonged to before Henley was uh, Wadman, and right. he was a German, 
say. <laughs> and of course, as uh, we're coming mm -hmm. coming up towards uh, war, World War Two, he he disappeared and went back to Germany from there, mm -hmm. and that's when Enlis took over. Are you yeah. talking about some land that's behind Thatched Cottage? So if you if you come. If from the library you walk up Church Street to what was the Georgian Dragon, are you talking about land on the right behind those houses that Henley farmed? Uh, no, I'm talk as, as you come up towards the church, you know, where Arthur Garney that was, mm -hmm. instead of going towards the Georgian Dragon, you mm -hmm. carry on and come round that way. Uh, yeah. And Henley's farm was just round the corner, wasn't yeah. it? Henley's, uh, Henley's house. Yes. Just round the yeah, corner. Where the vicarage is yes. now. Yeah, yeah. 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 And then, as I say, it was Wadman that had that farm before right. Henley, see? Right, yeah. okay. And, 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 he, and he didn't milk either. He... I don't ever remember him having having uh, any cows there. I remember the, two of the people that lived in the cottages, because I used to get around with one of the sons, and that was the Maslins and the Mabbots that lived in there then. The yeah, cottages, are those the cottages right outside the east window of the church? No, close. no, no. Tom's referring, I think, to where he's Obs's where, buildings. Obs's oh, buildings, right. where, where yes. Fred Ornsby used That's to live. That's right, yeah, where, where, where Roy Henley yeah. lives yeah. now. Mm. Well, so I say that farm was done by Wadman, uh, the, the, he was a German, see, and he yeah. slid back to Germany bef before the war. Mm. Come yeah. on. When Mr. Henley yeah. went on. Yeah. Right, yeah. So, so we come back down now then. Uh, there's nobody up New Road. You've got Home Farm. Which was Benedict's with yeah. Sant. Was it Sant when you were a kid? Um, you, you know, where Dad, where Dad first started off, home farm, where yeah. Lambda Place Flats is. Who was the first person you remember in there as a kid then? Ah, uh, no. I can remember, I remember that name from here now, but I, knew, I can't place him at the moment. We, we took over from Bernard Dafter. Yeah, and I, I know where the doctors lived as well. Remember the some uh, remember the war memorial on the right right hand side. The house that they lived in is down now. It's not there anymore. Yeah, right. Yeah, and also they had a a theatre move in there for a fortnight. You know, in the thirties. Yeah, and for a little while, you know. Mm -hmm. Because there used to be a row of cottages there where the Eels' bungalow is. Yeah. There used to be yeah. a row of cottages there. Yeah. And they had them down, and there was a, a mobile theatre moved in there for a better fortnight. <laughs> yeah. And uh, one of the things they acted on was uh, that murder in the Red Barn. That was one of the one of the things they acted sure in they there. Got yeah. Right, yeah. And that was uh, in the late 30s, before the war, when that was on. There. Do you remember Tommy Swinford? Yes, I remember and him. And his yeah. brother. They yeah. lived around there somewhere, didn't they? Um, Swinford, it, I remember them being in the cottages the other side of Tommy Patworth, just along there. Oh, down there? Yeah. I remember them being there. Because Tommy Swinford used to help us with hoeing and, yeah. and sugar beating and, and that. One of them used, uh, used to. Didn't he? He was in Canada at one time. As That's a, it. Yeah. That's it. As a, a log man. Yeah. yeah. I'm pretty sure that was Tommy. Yeah. Yeah. Because there was an old big elm tree on the bridges by Bampton where he dropped down there. That was in the early thirties when he dropped that down because there was a bit of a nuisance there. Yeah. And you just had to how to yeah. make it fall just where you wanted it. Yeah. Before. That's it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So that's. There used to be two big poplar trees there then, see, up, up there as well in those days. Yeah. So you get the poplar tree right down wheels then where you Ah, uh, yeah, you could, yeah. That I stuck a flag up in there in 1935. <laughs> Did you? Yeah. <laughs> because you could it. see that tree from Mars. Well, you go you down Buckingham Road, That's right. you could see the, see yeah. the tree. Yeah. Yeah. Are those yeah. the two poplars that used to be opposite us? And where okay. do you live then? Where the next door to back house farm, the next wife. one down. Jan oh. Janet Terry's wife. Oh, from no. where Terry is. Now, they oh, were all elm trees, I weren't they? You used to come to the Wister then, didn't yes, you? Did. Uh, goodness gracious. <laughs> yeah. You've changed a lot since then, haven't you? Yeah, I've grown older. <laughs> <laughs> I've grown older since dark and that. No. There were two big, big poplar trees in that field. It's Major Colville's field. 
and they both came down in gales in on the uh, same day. Ah, the, uh, they they weren't they weren't poplar trees. It was a big elm tree. It used to be a rook's oh, nest the, up in the, there. There was a row of elm trees, and one fell and hit our house. But I farther see. back into the field, that they, they were big Lombardy poplars, and they uh, both went. And the match oh, factory. Yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. They were that other type poplar, not the the narrow oh, one. Right, yeah, right, yeah, right, I know yeah, the one yeah. you're you mean, yeah. yeah. Yeah, because when I was a boy and Francis Pennett was a lad, we used to shoot the pigeons up in them trees. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. Which so, poplars yeah. were you meaning? But the, top, the poplars I'm talking about is, um, you know, um, you come over the bridges, don't you? Um, um, there used to be two poplar trees right right there, opposite that cottage of where um, Mrs Kitchen used to live in. Yeah. They were out on the main road because oh, there were right. railings along there in in days gone. Oh, that's right, the white railings. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. What they, 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 what they got there now then? I can't remember what what is there now because the brook's not there anymore, is no, it? No, the they, brook's they, gone. They, they, there are all sorts of trees that. Um, yeah, there's different. Roy tree, Shergold has planted some yeah, nice trees. Yeah, but there used to be a poplar tree there because Johnny Ellis and. Uh, um, Ted Kitchen, they yeah. put a flag up in in one of the poplars there for the 1935 because I put the one up in down wheel. Well, <laughs> it clambered up the trees there, you know. Yeah. yeah. What fun. Oh, <laughs> it's great life. Right, <laughs> so, so we, we're going on then. Um, you've got Arthur Gowen's shed at the end of New Road here. You've got yeah. Home Farm, which is where we, we've done. We've dealt with that, haven't we? Yeah. Um, yeah. That was, we took over from Bernard Dafter, who was George Dafter's brother. Yeah, yeah. He went off to Canada yeah. or America, and, and that's when we took over. And all these fields where these houses are were just fields, and we, yeah. we used to graze these these fields. Um, and then so um, if we then go round and down, the next farm I come to, in my mind, was, was uh, Gordon Ogilvy. And the idea who used to farm there? Well, that was Ogle business in in those days because uh, you had um, two chaps in these houses next along here used to work for him. See, Ogleby. Yeah. And uh, that Fred, was Fred Bats was one. Fred Bats used to work for Gordon. Cause Fred Bats also worked for Ashton Walker down yeah, the farm. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, and um, for Ogleby there was. Um, Parslow. Parslow's and uh, Molly bloke named Parslow's Molly dad. Parslow's dad and a bloke named Hunt lived next door as well. That's lived, right. These two lived in here. That's right. That's well, right. You they did, yeah. Because you lived over there, yeah. didn't you? Well, Hunt's and Parslow's lived in there. And they the were. on the end, see, wasn't that's they? That's it. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah, Alice, Auntie Alice, we used to call her, lived in 22 for them and these yeah. were built. She yeah. went on the end. Yeah. Ah, right. So that yeah. so Ogilvy was farming in those days. Yeah, right? but Ogilvy's farm, you see, was down Aston Road, wasn't it? I don't know. Yeah, it, yeah. As you come round the Aston Turn, in. Yeah, that's right. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it was Road. down there. Yeah. Uh, yeah, because where yeah. Uh, Mercury closes and that, um, that's where his farm was. Because he, he used to, he was a mixed herd, I think. Yeah. But we bought an Asia cow off of him. Yeah. I remember yeah. we bought an Asia cow off. Of yeah, him. that was a mixed herd. So he there. he yeah. worked. Milked there, yeah. Right. When you say a mixed herd, do you mean Mi be be well? Dairy? Ours is a mixed herd. You had Frisians, Shorthorns, right. lovely uh, brindle-coloured yeah, cow, yeah, which was usually yeah. a Jersey Frisian cross yeah. or a Guernsey Frisian cross. But they were dairy, yeah. And, and and they were dairy dairy animals, yeah. Whereas yeah. the Shorthorn was mainly mixed, a beef and a, a Shorthorn, and to this day, a Shorthorn is a dual purpose, yeah. isn't it, Tom? Yeah. And the reason that some had a Guernsey or a Jersey, they reckon that the milk was more creamier. That was why some of them had. Mm. Yeah. 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 So they would run one or two in the yeah, herd to get the right. butterfat. Yeah. 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 Right. Well, and yeah. also have it's the house cow. You milk them. That's mm. milk down in the house. Yeah. That's so the best. Yeah. Nice milk. <laughs> yeah. Right. Now, now, going down Buckham Road then, Tom, this is where we, we get one or two problems. Mrs. Gerin, yeah, she who, did, taxi who did the taxes, yeah, right, and hers, she had a dairy there because wasn't it called Dairy Farm or uh, the Dairy or something yeah. at one time? And yeah, I don't remember them having any cows, Tom. 
So it must have been well before your time as well then. Well, I remember the Gerrins living there, but I don't remember, because I say... Because she was a widow. But I begin to wonder whether whether they had any ground up Buckland or not. We, well, she was related to the yeah, Gerrins that, that we were talking about. Yeah, that's right, see, because I don't ever remember them having any, anything to do with cows while they lived down there. I don't remember at all. Because uh, we used to go to a place down in Buckland Road there in what we called uh, um, Swimming Hole, you know. And, yeah, uh, Third Field. Yeah. No, I don't ever remember any, <laughs> After all, any all, all Bampton kids learned to swim. <laughs> learned to swim. <laughs> it was part of the Shieldbrook, and it was a third field. It was one of the towns, yeah, one of um, yeah. uh, Albert Townsend's fields. And all us kids used to go down there in the third field. That's it. So you wouldn't do it today because you got the sewerage works, discharges. <laughs> <laughs> so that that's was, right. that that's was right. part of a brook. It wasn't a, a dew no, pond. It, it, it was a little bit of a hole in the brook. That's it, right. It, the yeah. water was deeper through there. Is yeah. that what Terry's told me is the Isle of Wight brook? Or wasn't it as far No, the Isle of Wight brook is farther down. Yeah. Right. That, that's right. when you go right down where that bridge is and you've got that mm. turn in that takes you to... Um, Shifford and yeah. and whatever, yeah. yeah. Um, that that's the Isle of Wight Brook, yeah. uh, but this is this is part of the Shield Brook that yeah. comes through Bampton, yeah. and it goes down the third field, and that's where amazing that you learned to swim down there. Yeah, yeah. Now. And then I went from there, you see, into what we call the sluices After that, that was down at the Isle of Wight, only upstream in the field, because there right. they used to have a place there, and we used to drop the boards in. And that used to be a lovely place to swim then. Oh, a couple where, yards. where did you drop the boards in so that you could swim? No, the farmers used to hold the water back in them oh, days. For the cows, yeah, yeah, for the cows. That was Southby's farm then, see? So where did Southby farm? Yeah, that, that was his farm there, where that big tall Oh, yeah, there. what, what I would know is, is Gandhi White's. Yeah. <laughs> that was that was after. That was yeah, after, wasn't it? Was it? Was, it was yeah, Charlie yeah, White. Yeah, Charlie. Call him Charlie. I hope you let it that out. <laughs> Why? <laughs> he was a skinny boy, <laughs> just like Gap. Yeah, yeah. But that. But um, what what uh, a lot of people don't realise, you know, in where the kiddies used to go at the Isle of Wight Brook to swim, that used to be a terrific deep hole in there. Mm. In years gone by, oh. when I was a kiddie, yeah. and. Uh, the old uh, shoe snob, um, Clark's shoe snob, was where, um, what's the name of his fish, fish shop? Um, oh, what's his name? Well, right by the town hall? Yeah, you know, that, yeah, yeah. That, that, well, that was a shoe snob in there, see, named Clark's. And he used to spend a load of time down there fishing, because that used to be a very deep hole. And then when they altered... Because you were a keen fisherman, weren't you? Yeah. Still are. And, uh, in those days, you see, the Isle of Wight Brooks and, and a little way up from there was a very narrow road. And they altered all that in the thirties and that was the beginning and the end of that deep hole at uh, Isle of Wight. Uh, it just altered all the, went shallow then, see. They altered the road because the DZ, the yeah, dropping yeah, zone. Yeah, yeah, and that was it, there. yeah. And that was when it, the big deep hole that went from right. the Isle of Wight there, know. yeah. So we used to go up then to what we called the sluices. Right. And there's, if you go down there, I don't know whether you've been there or not, but there's big concrete either side, and there used to be a shutter across, and you drop the boards in there, you see, and that used to hold the water back mm. for the summer to irrigate the fields. Right, right. And of course, but in, uh, over the ravages of time, see, that's all gone now. But the concrete's still there. So, so then, as I... I because I, I, I came about in 43, I probably learned to swim in about 1948, time when I was about 11. Mm. And we did the third field bit, and then we would do Sandy Bay, yeah. which is down the Thames, but farther yeah. towards Shifford. Yeah. Uh, and there was a, a gradual place there. And then when you felt really confident you could swim, you come up to the corner. Yeah, that's right. Was it the same yeah. for you, was it? Yeah, well, in my day, you see, Oh dear, what was her name now? It's gone. Miss Cooper. Miss Cooper. That's, <laughs> that's it. As, as the first topless woman I'd seen other than my Miss, mother. Miss Cooper. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. <laughs> uh, yeah, I bet you were the same. I'm gonna enjoy well, this. Miss Cooper, in those days, she used to uh, uh, green the carrier. Um, you know where they carrier green. Carrier Dennis, green. Dennis green's then? Dad. Yeah. Well, she used to hire his his vehicle, his bus then. And all the kiddies from Bampton, she used to take them to Sandy Bay 
on a Saturday and teach them swimming. And teach them swimming. Yeah, oh, that wonderful. was in that was in the early thirties. Well, yeah. I never went. Yeah. In, in in the early fifties, right, probably late forties, early fifties. I'd been down there swimming, and she would t she'd take classes. That's she'd right, yeah. Charge yeah. the kids a ton of time to teach them to swim, right? Yeah. Well, she'd sent all these... She'd done her class at the corner there and sent all these kids to go and get changed. Mm. Then she gets out... <laughs> out by the middle of the river, pulls her top down with her ample bosom there and gets a bar of soap. <laughs> gets a good laugh. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so yeah, she was doing it in yeah, the 1930s. Yeah. Well, in the 1930s, she was taking all the kiddies from Brampton. She could get into the into the bus and take her down, take them down there at Sandy. Oh, Lake, that's lovely, lovely yeah, Tom. It was a lovely job. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Does yeah. she take boys as well, or just boys, girls, girls all mixed? Uh, good. We used to have her. It's like being at the seaside. Then eh? it was really good, you know. It oh. was wonderful to have oh, someone you, to teach you to swim, yeah. though. I used to look forward to going down there, you know, because it was so good, you know. Yeah, mm. and all the children were there. It was good. Oh, Joey Day! I expect you remember Joey Day, Cass Craddock. That was some of the, the big girls yeah. used to be around here, you know. Yeah. Oh, and what do you mean, big girls? They were. They were. They were, two, they were you're going to get. You're going to get a shot. They were two of the biggest girls in the school. I saw some, as I say, I used to actually sit between them. To, they, <laughs> oh, that's when they were big. The old to keep me in, in tow. <laughs> yeah. No, they were two. The two of the biggest girls in the in the class. There, you know. I, I don't. I don't mean fat or anything. No, I mean no. tall. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that that way inclined, yeah, they were really good, yeah, yeah. And right. <laughs> yeah. Let's get back to farming time. Um, right, we we got to Amy Gary, Amy Gary. It was a taxi. That's right. So yeah. ne next yeah. was was um, Percy Shepherd. That's right. Yeah. Well, Percy Shepherd had only had a few cows, didn't he? he did yeah. A lot, and he kept a lot of chicken as well. Right. So, yeah. Because he had land down God Lane, and he had land. Down Buckland Road. Down, down the Buckland Road, yeah, where that uh, bungalow was built or something. That's it. House it. That house is on the left hand side, right, yeah. 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 No, on the right hand side, he was. Oh, he, he had, had that place. land as well today. Yeah, he had some that way as well. And there used to be a big old Dutch barn down there as well, on that right hand side. That's right, but that was in uh, Ernie Parker's land. Yeah. Because yeah. Uh, we, we, we were. Ah, no, before you got down to where you were talking about. You know where. where, where um, Stevens is is now. There yeah, used, there used to be a, a barn down there. Oh really? In them fields down there, yeah. Because that old uh, a shepherd had it. See, That's of course he did. Yeah, yeah. Of course he did. No, I remember. Right, yeah. yeah. No, you're going farther on down yes. because you took them yeah. fields out there. That's right. Parker had yeah. down there. Yeah. I know it used to be haymaking making down there half past eleven at night. <laughs> that's where Peggy. That's where Peggy Jim, the old tramp, used to live. Yeah. Well, Peggy Jim, uh, as you called him. Uh, uh, he used to be at, at Sharney. Really? What yeah. down Sharney? Like? Down Sharney. That's where he, he, he was down at one time. And then he was down Highway Lane going off the Buckland Road. Yeah. Like where they built that house down that lane. Right there. down the lane. Yeah, he used yeah. to be down there. In, oh, in right. there. And then he, he moved in then along with um, the Jack Undertaker, Joyce. Jack Joyce. Didn't That's he? right. Yeah. <laughs> Good move, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Get, for, oh, get yeah. free fuel. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he, he could kill a rabbit. Yeah. With throwing a stick. Unbelievable. He was so accurate. Yeah. And because and, when we were binding, you remember cutting the corner yeah. of the binder? Yeah. And all the rabbits would go in the middle. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, all hell let loose. Yeah. And you yeah. all boys with the guns yeah. beyond the corners yeah. shooting. Yeah. And that. Well, Peggy Jim with his stick. <laughs> he gave his arm and suffered just like that. Yeah. What you didn't know about Peggy Jim, when he first turned on the scene down, down um, Charney, they they reckoned that uh, he committed a crime, you know, somebody oh, was gone, yeah. and the police were down there in the early thirties. Uh, they searched all around that area down there, <laughs> and that and never found a thing. And uh, uh, something else you don't know, but Johnny Ellis, Ellis's yeah. husband, he used to go and spend time down there with with Peggy Jim, helping him make his pegs. Well, I, I, so that's the name. Where the name come from then? Yeah. Uh, oh, Peggy. They always called him Peggy. Yeah. And, he made pegs to make money. He used to come bring them up to Bampton and sell them. 
And Johnny used well, to be down there. I didn't know that. And Johnny used to help him make them pegs. He used to go around the edges and cut the nut wrist sticks out. Yeah, of course, but back and round is full of hazel. Yeah, because if you remember, all, all he had was across the front of that shed was like faggots. That's it. Tied up faggots, and he got the straw inside, you know, where he could make his bed. And I used to go down Shani fishing because that used to be a big old boy Shani bridge in those yeah. days. And of course, a lot of the lads, because he lived there, they was all afraid to go down there. Well, because of Peggy. Because of Peggy. And, then, <laughs> and in the end, I used to take them down there with me fishing, see? So they got to know him. Yeah. But I think myself, somewhere along the line, he come from a, a well-to-do family. Because if, in those days, when he talked, yeah. His language, you yeah. could tell, you know, he was... He, he was posher than us. He, he was, <laughs> that's right. That, that, put it that way, Dan. You put it the right way. Yeah, yeah. Well, I yeah. don't. Yeah. So I didn't know. I, I, I always known him as Peggy Jim. I didn't yeah, know that he yeah, made pegs, yeah. and that's how he came That's with it. right. That's it. And then Jack yeah. Joyce befriended him. Yeah. And in, in, the winter, in the winter towards the end of his life, he was sleeping in the pigsty. Uh, it it Jack Joyce's yeah, place there. Yeah, that's right. And then yeah, um, and, and there. then he would he would go back for the summer, but then in the end he died. And, yeah, yeah, and he just there. passed away. But I knew him for a long, long time. See, yeah, poor old Peggy. Yeah. So I remember going. Um, we were because we had a lot of land down back and round. We, we and we always used to go on an open tractor and trailer. You know, and all the wives and that they would help in the fields. You know. Um, uh, Ivy Beckett and and and, yeah. Voy and all that yeah. lot and, yeah. and and Mrs. Snooks would go hoe in and such like. That's We'd all right. pile up on a trailer, yeah. and, and you get you get locked up. Health and safety today. Yeah, wouldn't today you, know? you would, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. so, but that's oh, that's where health and safety has oh, all gone wrong. It, it's ridiculous mm. now, isn't it? Absolutely yeah. really ridiculous. So we, we were coming down then, and poor Shepherd come running out and stopped our dad in the middle of the road with this trailer with all these women and that on. And of course, Percy stuttered, didn't he? Yeah. He said, oh, yeah. Rah, 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 rah. Come and have a look. I don't know whether you know it, but Purse, uh, Shepherd, he used to do fish and chips. Didn't he want before James Buckingham? Yes, he 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 done it, and James Buckingham was in opposition to him later on. <laughs> right? But uh, but, but the Purse Shepherd, I'll tell you where he used to come. Um, round um, opposite, you know, the Georgian Dragon. The road that goes goes down to the church, but there used to be a bit of wasteland round there for where they built those houses and that where Alter Beckley used lived, to live. Yeah. Well, he used to stand in there with his with his horse drawn thing and sell fish and chips. And of course, us old boys used to play him up in those days. We put a sack on the top of his pipe very often. <laughs> smoked him out of that. You sort of devil, thing. you. And uh, Vandal. anyway, Vandal. Anyway, Purse decided uh, to make what they call scallops. Right. And he was the only place where you could get we never ever interfered with Purse not any used to make scallops <laughs> and we really enjoyed that. What I knew of as scallops where I grew up was um thin slithers of potato dipped in batter and fried. That's it. That's, that's what well, you Purse used to do yeah. them. Gorgeous. Yeah, lovely. And we never interfered with Purse after that, but yeah. us young lads you wow, it's only kid like you you mm. play yeah. people up, isn't it? But anyway, he started making scallops, and we love them. Well, I know. Yeah. We, we, we were going down back and when Purse came out and stopped our dad, and he said, ah, he, he said, come have a look at this race. And our dad went round in his field on the left-hand side down back and Road. Yeah. And they'd obviously been man army manoeuvres. Yeah. And they'd, they'd stopped there, but it, all Purse could see was all his best mown grass trampled down. Mm. Yeah. And dad, dad come back with this sign, and he said to, said to all of us people on the trainers now, "What's La Trienne? <laughs> La Trine, wasn't it? Yeah. The manoeuvres, that was yeah. Yeah. the hole yeah. was the toilet. <laughs> that yeah. They yeah, but the manoeuvres they had round here was in the early thirties. No, this is this would have been forties, late forties. Oh, they come round again, did they? Yeah. Oh. So I don't whether well, I don't know yeah. what they were doing, but they, but they were here in the early thirties manoeuvres all round Bampton. Yeah. 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 So there you go. And did you say R. F. Bryce Norton? Well, it wasn't probably called that then. That came into being as an airfield in the thirties. That, um, well. As a matter of fact, um, you you well, you wouldn't know Mr. Froy, which is our schoolmaster, because he'd gone. But da Daddy Froy, you know, Daddy Froy, yeah. <laughs> but um, he he had us in school one day, and he said they're going to 
do an airfield up here. He said at Bryce Norton. He said it's not going to be a very big one. He said <laughs> a, a, a small place, you know, a small airfield, you see. And that we, he told us that, that was in 1935, he told us that. Right. Of course, they were up here then in, in 36 and that building all, and that's what it turned out now. But that <laughs> the biggest, was, the that biggest was, in the UK. Yeah, <laughs> that he reckoned it was only going to be a small maintenance place, you know, for aircraft. Wow. Yeah, that was amazing, yeah. Could church fates used to have tug of wars and that in those days. And yeah. one of the best teams was the 6MU. Ah, yeah, yeah. That, that, yeah they were based yeah. at Bryce, weren't they? Were, yeah. Where was that yeah. the signal camp? Um, they, the, 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 no, that was the uh, signalers down there, down the signal camp. 6MU was up the base, yeah. Ah, right. Yeah, and they had different places somewhere else, too, in Oxford as well. They had a place up there, Top Cowley. The top of Cowley yeah. there, they had a place up there. Tom, had, had they started building the um, signal outfit, before you went in the, went to war or or not? When I left Bampton and see go into the army, there was nothing downwheeled at all. In actual fact, that was where I don't know whether you're not or not, but that was one of one where the first bomb fell in Bampton. You know, as you go down there, well, then you go down down a bit of a hill, yeah, don't you? Yeah. Well, you go down the bottom of the hill, and at the bottom hill on the right hand side, there used to be a gate. Yeah. And that's where the bomb fell. The first bomb fell in Bampton. Really? Yeah. How I can tell you about it is I had the job of filling it in. <laughs> you, get, you don't get more genuine than that, do you? Well, the reason being, you see, I worked for Butt at the time, and that bomb fell there, and Arthur Hayes, he got the tractor, yeah. and he went round and round the bomb hole with a plough, and that's what we... Give us a source to put in. Give us a source to put in to fill the hole in. Yeah. Now the Royal Corps of Signals started in a house in Fox Close. That's right, they, they had those houses along there because yeah. they yeah. hadn't been finished. That's they? right, and it, yeah. as, as one yeah. finished, that's where they started. And when they had set up the Royal Corps of Signals down Weald, that was 1943, and they left the house across the road here and yeah. went down to yeah. Weald. Yeah, well I, I wasn't here then, see, not when mm. they... Because I was surprised when I came back and see that. Place yeah. down wheeled, you know, it rather surprised me. That was Ray Evans who told us all about that because that's where he was. Yeah. Yeah, well on my on my seventh birthday, Hayway Lane, though they had the um the signal camp was built in nineteen forty three, my seventh birthday would be nineteen forty four, the track was still a mud. rough track. Mud. A mud track. Mud. A mud track. <laughs> yeah. And and, and indeed, it, it was up to the cottages where we lived. And it was after that that they, they come and bulldozers come and levered it and made a proper road of it. Yeah. <clears throat> but I remember coming down and I was sat on a cart horse's back mm. with, a, with a little two wheel trailer behind the horse, the cart horse. And we got down there, and for some reason, something was coming up towards the Sigma camp, and they had to make the horse back back. Yeah. And the body belt on the horse broke. Uh huh. Because he push him backwards yeah, into the body yeah. belt. That broke, and there's me shot up in the air <laughs> on this because the chain that goes over the saddle yeah. and took me up in the air. And that was on my seventh birthday, <laughs> 1944. Yeah, yeah, but after that, then yeah. I, I remember the steamrollers coming and the bulldozers yeah, and, and yeah, making that proper right. road. But yeah. the, the signal camp was there then. And, uh, yeah. That was queer though, they had a single camp there where a bomb dropped though, wasn't it? Yes. It's, it's yeah. crazy, yeah. Well, stop <laughs> thinking about it. Did any other bombs drop in They Bampton? happened down the, down the Old White Road, you know. Mm -hmm. Well, that was supposed to have been a, a mock place, wasn't That's it, the for D them. D they had some drop down there, yeah. yeah. But that was where mm -hmm. the first one dropped anyway, yeah. And then, of course, we had uh, them two bombers come over. Uh, that was in 41, I think it was, on the 16th of August. I can always remember it because Dad's birthday was on the 19th of August and I was at the bottom end of 40 acres, as right. they called yeah, it, yeah. and Arthur Hayes and me was there and I said to Arthur, we were picking the sheaves up, we were, see, and I said, cool, that's two different airplanes, Arthur, I've never seen them before, and we were sort of looking at them, of course, the next thing we knew, they bombed Rose Norton. Well, I know. A lot of people said that they saw them from Bampton. Now, I will, I will not believe that because... Mm -hmm. I, Arthur and me was down the bottom end of 40 acres and those two planes came up from Shani. Yeah. Say you where know. 40 acres is, because you know, but 
anybody yes. watching this Yes, uh, Rain Welton, you know, as we called it. Mm -hmm. And uh, these two planes, they came up and uh, in fl flying side by side, and we got Harvards, Airspeed Oxfords, and, and different planes flying about, learning, and they come right through them. Dear, yeah. Eh? Dear. And, and some people says they saw them from Bampton. I can't see as they could, because yeah. in those days we had a lot of elm trees around Bampton. That would have blocked the view. You see, and that would have blocked the view. Yeah. I, they probably saw them if they were up, up, say, um, up the station road. Oh, Red Pops is building. They probably yeah. saw them there, but anybody living in Bampton itself wouldn't have saw them. I can't say. You, you know where that lay-by is when you go to Clanfield, after you've gone past Welton Turn, as we call it, mm -hmm. Um, there's a lay-by, the road used to go, but there's a lay-by, there's a little lane goes after, up there, yes. where 40 acres links the wheeled road with that lane. It goes right the length of it. it right, what yeah. Tom's referring yeah. to is that he was right down almost in that lane mm. um, when the planes went over. That's a long way from Bampton to be seen, unless those planes were flying very high. That's right, yeah. that's right, that's what Tom's saying. Mm. No, the, no, they they weren't that high at all because they were they came through where where all their aircraft was learning, as, <laughs> as, as, as uh, they flew through so be so, and I can remember saying, "Oh, old Arthur, just as though it was yesterday." Oh, never seen them sort of planes before. <laughs> <Yeah. Of course laughs> we we? <laughs> Could you hear the bombs blow up? Well, we 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 saw them, the the stuff go up, you see, and all the smoke go out going towards Whitney afterwards. Mm. <laughs> uh, but yeah. We never dreamt that they were, you know, because we, we were, we were you, loading you, a wagon up with sheaves, yeah. see. Yeah. Gosh. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. So. Because when Art Hayes, he had an old international tractor, didn't That's he? That's right, yeah. The old 1020. 1020. That's yeah. right. The old 1020. Is Art Hayes Arthur Hayes or his father? Or that was that his, was his father. father. Right. Yeah. 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 No. And uh, that that tractor that uh, Harry Pocock had towing the wheels was a twenty four thirty six. Was it really? It's a bigger yeah, one. A bigger one. Yeah. yeah, yeah. See, when you when you think about it, Harry farming in those days didn't have to employ a lot of people. Yeah. Or all yeah. Related to it, I mean Harry Pocock. There was um, Sonny Owens. Yeah. Mrs. Yeah. Owens. Sonny. He, That's right. he he worked for him. Um, Charlie Button with the peg leg. Yeah. Big, yeah. Char Big Charlie yeah. Buckingham, yeah. Wally Buckingham, yeah. the Humphreys, Ernie Humphreys. Yeah, he did, yeah. There's a hell of a lot worked yeah. for yeah. Uh, yeah. Harry Pocock with the slashing machines and the bailers and, That's and right. all that sort yeah. of thing. Well, but had quite a few people working for him, see, oh yeah, at uh, Humphreys's. And uh, the funny thing is, see, Richards, is in, they employed a bloke named Jackson, the one that air cutters you're talking about, yeah. his son. And he used to shoot pigeons and that, see, on the farm. But one day he he got the gun down there and he went through through the edge, and then he put his hand over the the gun to pull the the gun through. And you know what happened? Uh, the, the, caught in the, the, the trigger caught in one, of the, and that blowed all the centre of his hand out. Whoa! Yeah, yeah. So oh, accidents do happen, don't they? Yeah. I remember. Don's mum saying to me once, considering she had a husband and three sons that worked full life on the farm, you didn't have a serious injury between no, you. And that's that was right. Just amazing. That's right. I mean, I, we had, nearly had one, Tom. Do you remember? Um, we used to have corn ricks in the end of God yeah. playing there. Yeah. And rooks are incredible creatures. A rook will have one of their gang will sit up in a tree and watch. Well, the other rooks go feed, yeah, don't they, yeah, to look out? Right. Yeah. And our dad was determined to catch this lookout. And he had the gun on a baby force and tractor, so he sat on the tractor like that, and he had it hanging down there. Yeah. We cut the cartridges in. Right. And we pulled up by Gog Lane, and he crept, and he got off the gun from the front of the tractor, pulled it like that, and the trigger got caught in the power take. Uh, off the bomb. Bomb. Not, not the... Not the ash off the end of his fag and his hat back. <laughs> <laughs> so we, we had some new ones. <laughs> Imagine that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Crazy, isn't it? When you stop thinking about it, Don, in those days. 
Yeah, but there you yeah, go. Yeah, it still won't be on Miss Cooper getting her top her kit off to show me that. <laughs> yeah, but that was when they, as I said, that that was like the seaside down down what we call Sandy Bay in those days. With Miss Cooper, she used to turn no end of people learn to swim. Yeah, that's yeah. lovely. Yeah, it's amazing. Oh, you know, she's a marvelous old dear, really. Yeah, she really was. Yeah, <laughs> but there you go. So who farmed? At Mount Owen Way. Oh yes, yeah. sorry, John. Oh uh, yeah. Oh, I don't know about that. Um, so, Wilkins was when we came. They were. They were. Well, they were established there, weren't they? Was and which the old... farm was that? Coalpit oh, or Whitehall? Coalpit Farm. Coalpit yeah. Farm. Coalpit Farm. And then there was a Smith. Or, is, farm. or, or is Mr. And Mrs. Barnett would call it Bampton Heath Farm. Yeah. And then, <laughs> and opposite on the top there was Smith. Then. But old Dion used to live up there, didn't, didn't he? Farm Dion lived down here. Yeah, but didn't he do work up there? Didn't he own it one time before? Not as I ever know Dion, because I'll tell you what he used to do. And his brother, Ted Orn, used to do the same. They used to go round uh, bailing up uh, um, hay ricks. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, they had a little truss in. A truss in. That's a truss they used to go round trussing hay ricks. Hay yeah. Ricks. That's what those two used to do. So, what White a skillful Al job that was. Oh, yeah, yeah. White Owl Farm, who was there when you first... Well, non-existent. No, no, that's that a, a recent exist. build. Yeah, that Doug, Doug built that. So that was Doug's... Yeah. Doug was yeah. the first Doug person tree. there. Yeah. 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 And he did have dairy cows yeah. until yeah. Well, 1960. Yeah, that was see, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. And the next one up is Colpit Farm, and was that Wilkins family? Yeah, Wilkins, yeah, yeah. And... That was the, one of the... I, I don't know whether the government helped put it in, but there was five grain dryers in the United Kingdom yeah. that were the biggest there ever were. That's it, and they were up there in that barn. And they were yeah. in that barn because a, 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 a big tanker went down in the, in the Avonmouth estuary mm. and it, it sunk with loads of maize on. And ah, yeah. maize, the lorries was coming up and down New Road here, yeah. taking it there That's right. to, to get it dried. Get it dried, yeah. Yeah, and there was one or two people who used to go and part-time work in there, see? Oh, lots of, yeah. Yeah, Vera, Vera Elwood's husband used to go up there, you well, know? That's right, he did. do that, yeah, yeah. What's his yeah. Christian name? David. Dave Elwood, David, that's right. Dave Elwood, yeah. yeah. Which one of the Wilkins was it? Because there were three brothers, weren't there? Well, yeah. there was a dad before them. Right. Yeah, but the dad, he had his farm at Bryce Norton, right. see? And then there was um, uh, Lewis... Mm -hmm. He had this small old in just yeah. here. And then that was... Um, Bert and Ted. Bert and Ted, yeah. And, and Ted was a lay preacher. Yeah, that's yeah. right, yeah. yeah. And they all were, weren't they? Were they all... No, they all no, 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 no. No, no. Uh, Only Ted. Ted. Ted was a lay preacher. Uh, Lewis, he was... Uh, what what we call the black sheep of the family, Lewis. Was he, he was lovely, <laughs> wasn't he? I like Lewis. Yeah, we yeah. all did. Yeah. Because Lewis, when he come down the bar here, and then he and he hadn't got a tool as he wanted, he used to come down and borrow it from me, and then bring it back when he finished it. Did he really? Yeah, yeah he was. He was, a love, he, he was the nicest yeah. of them. Yeah, yeah. I used yeah. to like Lewis. But an interesting thing in today's Whitney Gazette is an article on Molly Rose, Mrs. Rose. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. About her escapades flying. That's right, yeah. And one of her best mates was a, a Mrs. so-and-so-and-so-and-so Wilkins. And that was Ted's sister. Yeah. Because yeah. she had uh, an, an airfield on the Isle of Wight. Well, she used and, to and come very here. Often, she with, used to come here with her aircraft. Land 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 that's there, that's, that's right, right. Yeah. 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 And she's a friend yeah. of Molly Rose. Well, Molly Rose used to live around Sanford's Cottage. Mm -hmm. And if I remember rightly, that Santa you were thinking about is the co the house that's by the, the gate. Right, where yeah. Where Santa's lived. And then the bloke that come into there afterwards was a bloke named Adair. Right. And he used to be the scout headmaster. Really? You know, you know scoutmaster then, yeah. And in those days, um, Jackie Bliss, he lived in... The, the house going into the church, you know, big house on the left as you go into the church. That yeah. was where Jackie Bliss used to live, and we used to go in there for strawberries and cream teas and so that. You know. so church gate when we were in the church gate, yeah. Oh. When we used to be in the scouts, he used to have us there. Uh, cause, I see yeah. it was Colonel Powell when we. Oh yeah, um, yeah. Come. So did did that Bliss? Is that the Mrs. Bliss that's in, in Bampton House? In, was it yeah, Bampton House? Yeah, yeah, they were relations. Yeah, 
Yeah. Ah, right. Yeah. They were two Arthur brothers. Arthur Bliss, wasn't he? Wasn't his name um, Arthur Bliss? I can't remember now what his name was. But I know uh, they were they were two brothers in actual fact, you know. Yeah. Jackie Bliss, though, he never got married, I don't think. Cause he, oh, I, I, I don't know. No, I don't, I don't oh. ever remember him having a wife anyway, Jackie. He's a good old boy, though. We used to get on well with him, you know. When we was in the scouts, we used to go in his, his garden there, you know. He used to invite us round. Now, yeah. going back to, to uh, Mount Owen Farm, when I came here, it was Michael and Peter Whiteley. Yeah. Mike had a hair lip, if I remember rightly, and Robert Radband used to work for them, and then they ran a jersey herd. So yeah. who was it in your time? Well, I told Mike you, Owen Farm. Um, that used to be Smith's before they went there. Really? Yeah, yeah. What Smith? Any idea? Well, no, I, I, all I know is they had a daughter named Pansy Smith, and she used to have airy and all in plaits hanging down and of course you know what it is <laughs> in class yeah and she also had, had a brother a biggish bloke he was he used to be one of the policemen up here at Bryce Norton right but he was in the Coldstream Guards before he done that see but they just disappeared I don't know where they went to at all because they went you know and then Whiteless they were up there and then you had a maggot farm up there for a little while didn't oh, you oh that's know? right they breeding maggots in That's that right. big black barn up there, yeah. if you remember. Yeah. Did they have a dairy herd, any of them? Yeah, they had a, a, a cracking herd of Jerseys. Yeah. Yeah. And then they, they took the whole herd to somewhere out Malmesbury Way. Oh, yeah. Or Purton. I don't know what happened. Yeah. Actually, um, the Parkers went to Purton, mm. and I got a feeling that the Whiteless went certainly Swindon Way somewhere. Yeah. And, but it was a, a really very good pedigree herd of jerseys yeah. as as indeed uh, the Colonel uh, Colonel Covels or Major Covels yeah. that was a very good you know that really good, good pedigree down there. very good yeah. pedigree yeah. what did you milk at Backhouse Farm? Um, Guernseys from 1954 was when we moved into Backhouse Farm Michaelmas Day 1954 we moved in with 20 Guernseys, plus one we bought from Jack Oliver, uh, so she didn't go far. Her name was Bessie, I can remember things like that quite easy. Yeah. So we milked, we milked Guernseys at Backhouse Farm, and, and Dad milked a mixed herd at Home Farm with the milking parlour, milking bale, that we used to take all the way down through the streets and, yeah, the, that's and it. follow them. And, and when you say a mixed herd, that was... What, what Frisians, Shorthorns, Jerseys, yeah, yeah, all right. sorts, Lincoln Reds. Yeah, yeah. Red, one of them was a Red Pole, and of course she had a lovely name Polly. Cause she had, mm. <laughs> yeah. So when did you change to just Frisians down in Bant? That, no, no, we, 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 we didn't. Frisians became the better milkers, and Shorthorns gradually faded out because we were then mainly into milk production. Dad had his stroke in 1970 and we were gradually coming over to more Frisians then. Um, we, we were short on when we were at Home Farm, which is up until 1959, when the Guernsey herd moved to Lou. So 1959, Dad then had as Backhouse Farm as his base, but uh, he still he still went out with the milk and bale, mm. milk and could be had land yeah. at Gog Lane and such That's like. Right. And then um, after that, from 59 to 70, when Dad had his stroke, we were gradually becoming more Frisians because he wanted more milk. Mm. Uh, and then when Dad had his stroke in 1970, Colin carried on milking at Backhouse Farm. And so we would be out sugar beeting or potato harvesting and two two of us would have to break away to go and do milking. Yeah, Each yeah. milking probably only thirty cows, which was absolutely stupid. And so we then come to the conclusion, well this is silly. So we closed back house down and brought the Frisians to join the Guernseys at Lou. Mm. And so then I had uh two lots of churns. I had to milk the Guernseys and milk the yeah. Frisians in two separate churns with different labels on. Mm. And then nineteen seventy one it became bulk milk. And so it all had to go in together, and so we, we had to give up our Guernsey contract. There's a terrific premium for producing Channel Island milk, mm. 
but it, it worked out, Tom, it was only the difference in the price of a calf. You could yeah. keep one cow to the acre of a yeah. Frisian, yeah. or you could keep three Guernseys to an acre. Yeah, right? well, they were smaller. They were smaller animals. They, smaller animals, they yeah. give a better quality milk, so the, the value of the quality of the milk equaled mm. the quantity that the Frisian did. That yeah. all balanced out. Yeah. Yeah. The end product was, if you had a, a bull calf from a Guernsey cow, he wasn't. You, you couldn't get anybody to take it. No. They'd probably give no. you a couple of bob. But yeah. Nobody yeah. wanted it. Mm. If you had a bull calf from a Frisian cow, it was probably worth 100 grand. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So straight away we said, yeah. this is silly. Yeah. So we then yeah. moved over and, and in the yeah. end it was all good. All oh, Frisian. interesting. But that was where I known the first of all, the big Frisian herd, was at Jenkinson's. He was the one that started it all up, wasn't he? Faith well, Jan Graceful yeah, was the yeah. name of a cow that had the world record milk yeah, production. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And where In did other he words, live? You got a, 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 a lot of milk from the Gurns, from the, the Frisian. Frisian, see? But they, they didn't class it as good a milk as what you got from the Jersey and Gurns. That's right, yeah. that's yeah. right. Yeah. Where did he actually live? Well, it, the herd, it's called Mill. Mill Farm, Black Borton. That's yeah. where they, they actually did the milking. Because Elmwood Farm, yeah. that's where the mushroom farm became, wasn't it? That's right, the mushroom farm became up there. Yeah. But, the, but yeah. it's all yeah. um, uh, Jenkinson, uh, yeah. Rex and Harold Jenkinson, that's right. wasn't it? Rex and Harold, yeah, and the old man. They, they had such a top pedigree Frisian herd, and the, their prefix was Elmwood. Yeah, that's but right. But the actual milking took place at a mill farm. And they had the world record milk producing cow at that time. And her yeah. name was Faith Jan That's Basil. Right. Yeah, that was where we first come up with all them big Frisian see there. Yeah. yeah. Say that name again, Don. Faith. Faith mm. Jan Graceful. Great. Lovely. <laughs> that was, that was, she was a world record producing mm. uh, cow, milk mm. producing cow. Yeah. And I don't know how long she had the record for, but I mean, obviously, mm. it did. Yeah. Records yeah. get broken. It's great, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think we've given back. Well, I think we've done it. A, a <laughs> good old do there. What's about, Tom, what I am so the... great. Well, I've yeah. thoroughly enjoyed. Yeah. Yeah. Especially, well, Miss, no especially when you remember Miss Cooper. <laughs> <laughs> did, did the Munsters farm? They're, yeah. They... They they did, but they they set up a dairy down Marsh Lane, didn't they? Yeah. They bought yeah, Collins's yeah, farm. Yeah, yeah. Which is where we used to live. That's right. Farm. Yeah. That's all. Uh, well, later, you yeah. know, coming this way and there. We were going back a long way yes. before Tom, that. Tom. Yes. Tom. Were the monsters there in Bampton Manor when you were just before you no. went into the army? Who was no. in? Who was in no, Bampton Manor? Who? Miss, Mrs. Nettlefold. Oh, right. She had two daughters. Yeah. And do you know what? You'd be surprised at that old... They got loads of money, but obviously, being as they got a place like that. But I never, ever known her different. She got this old coat, you know, and she used to wear that year after year after year. <laughs> never see anything any different. Mrs. You know, Nettlefold. amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Just Mrs. Nettlefold. Yeah. Oh, yeah. See, yeah. Kate... Kate I remember about 1946, 46, 47, actually going beaten um, with Count, because Count Munster owned a lot of land up, uh, oh, what's the name of the place? It's a big, big manor up the other side of Buckland. Pusey. Oh, yeah. They were related. Yeah. The yeah. monsters and the people who had that's Pusey right, House were that's related. Right. Yeah. He, no, I'm not thought the person. It might was, have been her sister. You're dead right, Jack, because I, I remember the, they came to pick us kids up to do the beat and to make yeah. the birds go up so yeah. they could shoot them. Yeah. And it was the first time I'd heard a man use the F word in front of a woman. And I oh, was so shocked. Yeah, Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Amazing. Yeah. Absolutely. I'm trying to think who, who went into the phones when she come out of there. Um, Would it have been Munster? No, definitely not. Only I'll tell you what. After Nelvold's come out, this this other people moved in there, and Ern Parker he used to play with the eggs. All oh, right. 
Well, I used to have to take those eggs up there, you know, go in that back door from by Rainbow to surgery, you yeah, know. Yeah. And they used to keep Grahams in there. I can't think of the name of the people now. And you know, as you go in, as you went in the gate, those blooming Grahams used to come right behind you, you know, and follow you right to the door. Yeah. yeah. Tom, one other thing, Jack Ballinger was a, was a great help to us as kids as well. Yeah, I can imagine. You, you, Jack, you were yeah. you were big. I said yeah. you, you helped me in my growing up definitely, and 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 Jack Ballinger was now he worked, was it Naggington, at, at Upper Haddon Farm, Lower Haddon Farm, who farmed it up there? I know I couldn't tell you that. I couldn't tell you that. I know we, we bought the bike. I got a the, yeah the name Nesbit. Rink is in my head. That's that's quite quite possible, you know. That that is quite possible. We're we're Bosley as Yeah, we're Bosley yeah. farmers now. I yeah. believe it was Nesbitt's. I believe it was there, Nesbitt's. And so was that any relation to Nesbitt's? I couldn't I couldn't even tell you that, Don, whether they were relation or not. I'll tell you what, Tom, thinking where, where did Nesbitt's live in Bampton? In Sherborne Cottage there, so I tell you that first one, you know. Oh right. Yeah, in there. Yeah, so whether they were relation to them up there or not, I don't know, I don't know. No. No, I couldn't tell you that. So who, who, who was in Mrs Bliss's house before Mrs Bliss? Or was she always there? She was always there when I was a kiddie. Ah, fair enough. Because yeah. that was one of the one of the, the car, very few cars that was in Bampton in those days. Because they had a car, Blisses. Jackie Bliss had a car. That's right. And the doctors had a car. Old Dr Woods, he had a car. Where did he live? I lived in Weald in those days. No, Dr Woods, which house was he in? Was that Haytor or Grayshot? We're or Grayshot. Grayshot, yeah. right. And he had, a, he had a son, you know. He, he was, what would I, how could I put it? In a, in a, they, they always reckoned that he was a little bit uh, adrift, you know. But as far as I was concerned, he, he was as strong as a lion. He knew, oh my God, he... He could lift engines out of a car with no trouble at all. Tom, mm. you said the name Woods. Mm. They had a home farm before sand. You reckon? Mm. Someone's ringing in my head. And if he lived in Greyshot House, that's just across from home farm. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. That's quite I don't, a possibility. I don't remember, I don't remember a Woods in there, though. but that's where Doctor Woods lived in in Greyshot, you know. Yeah. Could talk about Mrs. Bliss and her car. Percy Barman was her, her chauffeur. chauffeur. That's right. Yeah, Percy was. Yeah. And, and was his name? Could he taught I Terry to drive. Was it was a chauffeur that taught him to drive. Who? It was a chauffeur that taught. Him yeah, to it, drive it was his. Coville's chauffeur. Mm. Russell. Russell Knight. No, Russell Knight. Mm. That's it. That's it, Mother. Tom, oh, thank you so much, wonderful. mate. <laughs> Absolutely fantastic. smashed. Fantastic. Yeah. Yeah.